All righty, we're going to graph this cosine right here. First thing we want to do for this is find the midline, which is nothing added at the end. So my midline is going to be y equals 0 because there's nothing right there. Second thing I want to do is I want to do the amplitude. Well, the amplitude is a number in front, so that would be 1 half. All righty, so now we need our period. Well, to get our period, we're going to go 2 pi and divide by this. So I'm going to divide by pi over 4. So let's make that 2 pi times 4 over pi. Maybe put a 1 underneath that. Pi is canceled. That 2 times 4 is 8. So my period is 8. All right. So all of this will help me make my graph. And I have to think, okay, what does a cosine generally look like? And a cosine generally looks like that. So when I'm done, it should have that specific look. Okay, first thing I want to do is put my midline. And what's nice is my midline is simply my x-axis. Whenever it's the x-axis, be very happy. It, don't, it makes it a lot easier. Not a lot easier, but it makes it a little bit, little bit easier. I put my edge. So I put a line at the edge here, wherever, and I call that my period, my ending. And according to my period, that's 8. So I now have my interval for one cycle. And then I always like to put right in the middle half of my period, just to give it a visual. And will it also later on be important to half those? Because in the end, we want five dots, so we're also at some point going to need these two. All right. Next, we look at our amplitude, which is one half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up a half, and I'm going to go down a half, just like that. Just mark it up and down, and we'll go up and down half. Okay, now, first thing we're going to do is graph the first dot. Now, if we look at this graph, what you'll notice is cosine always starts at the top, not at the x-axis, which that right there is with sine. So cosine is going to start up here unless it had a negative flip. Then we'd be starting at the bottom. So we're going to start here at the top. That's just kind of how cosines work. So we're going to start here at the top, which also means we're going to end at the same spot we started. So if we start up at the half, we're going to end at the half. Halfway between, well, if you think of cosine, it drops to the lowest point. So halfway between, the lowest point would be down here. So halfway between, we are now down here. Now, halfway here on the midline, if you look at this graph, if you drew a line through the middle, can you see your midline is actually where it's going to cross right here and here? If you think about the unit circle, it will verify that. But So cosine starts high, ends high, drops to the lowest point in the middle, and halfway between, you're going to hit the midline every single time. And then we graph it. So we're going to make that curve, then we're going to make that curve, curving it together, and there is one cycle of a cosine graph. So to graph this, let's do our map. Our midline is going to be y equals 2, right there. Our amplitude is this right here, which would be 1, not negative 1. It's 1. The negative means it's going to be upside down. So I'm going to write flip to remind myself, hey, it's going to be upside down, meaning when I sketch this, it's going to look like that. See it's upside down, cosine? So that's a reminder. Okay, okay, it's going to look like that. Important. Are you okay there's a 1 next to the x? So that would be 2 pi divided by 1, which is 2 pi is my period. Okay, so I have this graph. Okay, let's see how we pan, make the, what, the, what happens here. First, put our midline. So our midline, I'm going to go down 2 and put a midline. There's negative 2 right there. Oh, nope, I don't want to go down 2. What I want to do is go up 2. Is my midline at positive 2? Almost messed up there. Corrected it before I got too far. My midline's at positive 2. My period, put a mark right here. And my period is 2 pi. So half of that would be pi. So can I go up here and mark my midline? Because won't my midline be important to be marked? And then could I also mark halfway on my midline right there? Halfway between those two marks. 
All those marks are going to be important. Okay, now, my amplitude. My amplitude is a, neg a 1 upside down. So if I'm going to go 1, aren't I going to go from 1 up here to 3? Isn't that going to be my little interval? Isn't my graph going to go up and down 1? And since it's, it was a flip, isn't my graph going to start on the lower part and then go up? I want to go like that somehow. So let's start my graph here, at n right here, and end at the same spot. Halfway between, go to the highest point. So started here, ended there. In the middle, I go to the highest point, kind of like my little sketch here. And in the middle here, if you drew a line of symmetry, you're going to hit the line of symmetry. So I'm going to hit right here and right there. And that will be my cosine graph, or my cosine sketch. It's not a perfect graph. So negatives, watch out. They're upside down. Cosine always starts above or below the line of symmetry. And you always want one, two, three, four, five dots to get your sketch.